Hey, Michael. It's Scott Martin, your partner of six years. Your sometime adversary of probably the 15 years before then, and and your friend for most of that time. Um, as an officer of the antitrust law section, I couldn't be more pleased uh, to see you get this award, which is well deserved. Um, as a, an educator, as a litigator, and as a person, I have enormous respect for you. Uh, couldn't be happier. I think the only note of irony is that it's a lifetime achievement award, and those of us who know you well know that you view this as embarking on your second half century of writing wrongs. So go at it and get back to work. Congratulations, Michael. Michael, as the first associate hire at your new firm 13 years ago, you've been a wonderful model for me and for the rest of us at the Hausfeld Law Firm. We see you as an idea machine and your persistency and tirelessness in working for justice is unparalleled. We watch your unique brand of understated, quiet leadership and how it stands out in the bar. We admire your fierce gentleness that is such a hallmark of your approach. You always take the time to sit down and mentor more junior lawyers. So in addition to all the lawyers in this room who are here recognizing your contributions to antitrust enforcement over the many years and chapters of your storied career, I want you to know that you've inspired me and the next generation of lawyers to continue your work into the future. I am pleased and honored to join in this video tribute to a great lawyer and an antitrust expert, my friend of 40 years, Michael Hausfeld. I have observed Michael firsthand, probably a dozen mediations over the last 30 years, mostly involving, but not exclusively, antitrust. His calmness, his ability to get to yes, his uh, ability to put himself in the shoes of his adversary in trying to get a creative settlement accomplished. I have never been involved in a case, a dispute, where I'm more confident that the mediation will be successful than if Michael Hausfeld is at the table. He knows how to get to yes and to do it in a creative way. And this is important. There are great antitrust lawyers in this country, superb, but I don't know of many that stand in the same superior position as Michael Hausfeld when it comes to resolving disputes, out of the box thinking, creative ideas. Uh, Michael Hausfeld has successfully, uh, in my presence, uh, mediated cases that together are worth billions of dollars over the years. So it is a pleasure, an honor to participate in this celebration. No one is more deserving. And I thank Michael for all he has done, not only for the antitrust bar, but all he has done for our nation. And for that, this award is entirely deserving. Congratulations, Michael. Michael, everybody here knows what a fierce negotiator and brilliant litigator you are, but I also want to talk about what an amazing person and mentor you are. I remember when I was maybe a second or third year associate, uh, we had a settlement negotiation against the NFL. We showed up and there were tons of lawyers from the NFL around a huge conference table, uh, end side counsel, outside counsel, associates along the wall. I went to go sit over on the side and you turned to me and said, Swathi, where are you going? You belong here. And you pulled up a chair next to you throughout the settlement negotiation. You turned to me and asked me my thoughts on things. And, you know, you really made me feel like I belonged there at the table. That's a commitment to inclusion, to diversity, to mentorship, developing younger attorneys that you've lived your entire career. Those are not just words to you. 
Um, so I'm really very grateful that I've had over a decade uh, of your friendship, of your mentorship, of the kindness you've shown to me and to other attorneys around me. And I am so proud of you for winning this award, though not at all surprised based on everything I've seen. Looking forward to working together with you many more years. And I'm especially grateful to be a part of the firm that you've built in your model. And I only hope that I can pay forward all the lessons that you've taught me to the next generation of lawyers. Congratulations, Michael. Michael, I want to congratulate you on your career achievements. So it was the beginning of this century that we did a trial together. We didn't know each other that well, but we enjoyed doing that trial together. And at some point you said to me during the trial, it was an antitrust class action. You know, this hasn't happened in like a decade. And I lived off of that conversation wanting to be involved in those trials after that. And eventually I was able to do another one of them with you and an opportunity you gave me in the NCAA case. Now, everybody knows what you achieved in that case. And it was a great privilege to do that trial. Not everybody remembers that at some point the judge ruled there was gonna be no damages and there was not going to be large compensation pay. We were just going to try and break down the door and achieve something for the future. It was no longer about compensation for the players or the lawyers for their past work. A lot of lawyers would have thrown in the towel at that point and not gone forward. You plunged ahead and did that trial because you believed in getting something done. It was really a pleasure and a privilege to work with you and I've worked with you on a number of cases. We've got some that have been going far too long and hopefully some that end soon. And it's been, and I just am really pleased that I've been able to say something about your tremendous career. All right, that should do it. What's the score of this game now? Glad I got that over with. Man, I love it when players are getting paid. Wait, you're going to edit this part out, right? Because otherwise Swathi is going to be really mad at me. Oh, sure. We can do that. I want to congratulate you on this very well-deserved award. You know, our relationship has grown over the many years that we've known each other. Um, having done cartel cases for the last 25 years, our relation started out with you and I on opposite sides. You as a very, very aggressive plaintiff lawyer and me as a very aggressive defense lawyer. Um, but over the years, as I saw your excellent work and your intellectual abilities and your humane compassion for those you work with, my relationship with you and my affection for you only grew from a tepid friendship to true warmth, to true affection, and to the point where we traveled together, you and I, to Japan and to Korea, where we put on mock trials. You may remember that. Mock cartel trials where you represented the plaintiffs and I represented the defendants and that was a truly memorable trip that only further cemented our relationship and friendship. Um, I've treasured that relationship um, all the years that we've been professionals together and I cannot imagine a better person to receive this Lifetime Achievement Award. So Michael, with my deepest affection, many congratulations. Many others have already spoken to your extraordinary career and practice. I want to offer a tribute to one other major dimension of your work, and that is your astonishing contribution to higher education and to law students. For years, indeed for decades, you have generously given your time and advice to the new generation of lawyers. You provided in a selfless way mentorship to so many students. You've made yourself available to speak in classes, to speak at university programs. And I can attest through my own experience with my own students, how inspiring that has been to them. And you've also given so generously to the creation of the Competition Law Center at George Washington University. In all of these things, in ways that might not be noticed by others, you contributed in so many ways to a better world and a better future for our profession and we are profoundly grateful. Michael, I know you're uncomfortable with attention like this, but hope this ABA Lifetime Achievement Award has sunk in. It reflects the enormous impact you have had on the antitrust practice area in the US and around the globe. I have personally seen this firsthand and been inspired by you every day 
for over 20 years in courtrooms, boardrooms, coffee shops, planes, trains, and while speed walking on so many streets. I know you've received many accolades in your career. My sense is this one will be at the top, given how much time and energy you have devoted to the ABA over so many decades. It's fair to say you are often a lonely voice in a vast wilderness. But through your scholarship, teaching, speaking, writing, and practice, you changed the paradigm, opened doors and minds, and built relationships with practitioners and parties on both sides of the V, public enforcers, judges, and economists alike, helping to create a fairer and more effective public and private enforcement regime, as well as a greater understanding of the plaintiff's side. At the Hausfeld Firm, we are committed to carrying on this important work with you and building on this legacy. On behalf of our entire team, we are so proud of you, congratulate you on this awesome recognition, and know you will continue to shake things up in the future. Wishing you a huge congratulations for your Lifetime Achievement Award. And I just have to say that I would not be involved in the ABA like I am today. I wouldn't be on council. I wouldn't have been such close friends with Paula Salzman, who we all miss. Um, all of this was because of you. You sent me a letter in 2011 when I was not involved in anything in the section and you invited me on to the Civil Redress Task Force that you and Larry Sorkin were starting. And I immediately said yes, joined on the first day um, in the calls. And I think it wasn't until the second call that I actually understood what civil redress meant. <laughs> it was, you were just a step ahead at, at, every, at every turn, Michael. So you have um, an amazing legacy that you've created uh, and you've done a huge part for private enforcement around the world. And I'm really honored to know you. And um, I just want my sincere, want to give my sincere congratulations to you on this very special Many day. congratulations on your lifetime achievement. Uh, uh, very well deserved. I just wanted to make two quick comments. Firstly, to say how much I admired your vision in bringing antitrust litigation to Europe and of course hiring such excellent people um, and uh, including my former colleagues from Freshfields. Uh, and secondly, to say how you've enlightened my life, both working with you in the teaching at Georgetown, for example, and also at the European Antitrust uh, Litigation Forum. Uh, and uh, I thank you enormously for taking the time to listen to me as we discuss the finer aspects of test match cricket while we use the treadmill there. All the best and once again many congratulations. The successes that you have achieved have inspired generations of lawyers to dream big and have given us the confidence that we can fight for real impactful change. I also just wanted to share a quick memory of you that made such a big impact on my career and it was many many moons ago when I had worked for a year to develop a new antitrust case and we had a leadership hearing in our office with a boardroom filled to the brim with name partners from around the country. And everyone was seated around the table, but I took a seat near the perimeter of the room uh, against the wall. And you took one look at me and you said, you're not sitting there after all the work that you put into this case. And you literally shoved a chair in the table that barely fit to make sure that I had a seat at the table. And I'll never forget it. You have opened up so many doors for Hollis before me, uh, inviting her into the uh, ABA leadership to work with you and then she to me. And I'll never forget the impact that you have made. So Mazel Tov again, congratulations. I hope you enjoy the night. Hello, Michael, it's Trish Connors. I just wanted to say congratulations for receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award. This is so well-deserved. Um, you and I probably have known each other for about 30 years when you came to little old Tallahassee, Florida, representing the private plaintiffs in the infant formula litigation that was pending as, a, as an MDL. And I was a young lawyer representing the state of Florida. We had invested the ca investigated the case and filed it there. And then you, you all joined us there. Um, it was a wonderful experience watching you in the courtroom, watching you in depositions, watching how methodical you were in your approach, how prepared you were. Um, 
and it taught me a lot at an early age, at an early age as a lawyer that I, in ways that I continue to use to this day. So I wanted to let you know how important that was. I think I've told you some of this before, but I don't think you appreciate how, what an impact being around people like you and some of the other titans of the plaintiff's bar at such an early time in my career um, has had on me and I think who I've become. Um, hopefully, uh, you have more to come and uh, I'm sure you do knowing you and I look forward to seeing it. But until then, congratulations. It is so well deserved and I'm so happy I'm gonna be there to see it for myself. See you soon. Michael, I want to congratulate you first on this Lifetime Achievement Award from the iTrust Group, uh, the ABA. It's well deserved. You've had a wonderful career. I can uh, attribute many qualities to you, uh, as others have, I'm sure. Your exceptional creativity, your tenaciousness, your ability as an advocate, your writing ability, etc. You're, you're a great lawyer. And as you know, I've been up against a lot of lawyers in my 40 plus years of practicing, and um, you're an exceptional lawyer. And I'm sure a lot of people have uh, made that tribute, but I thought I would make a different kind of tribute to you, a uh, tribute as a, to you as a person. And I say that for the following reasons. Not only are you an exceptional lawyer, but I always found you in our many cases together, whether we're arguing a matter or we're settling a matter. Um, never lose your temper, to be calm, to be friendly, to be a gentleman, if I can put it that way. And also, most importantly, someone whose word could be trusted. If Michael Hausfeld told me that he could make this case, he could not make that case, or our argument had this flaw or that flaw, I had to think seriously about it because Michael is a trustworthy person and someone who I came to respect for that almost more than anything over the 30 plus years that we worked uh, mostly against each other, although not exclusively against each other. So Michael, I consider you a friend, a professional friend, um, someone whose word I could, I could always trust and could rely on. And for me, in addition to your stipulated uh, abilities as a creative, tenacious advocate, uh, for me that stood out and still stands out uh, to this day. So thank you for that. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to make this tribute, and uh, congratulations once again. Uh, Michael, uh, for all the years I have known you, and it has been a long time, you have been a jewel in the crown, not only of the plaintiff's antitrust bar, but the larger antitrust community. You have been the Johnny Appleseed of private antitrust enforcement globally, and I can think of no one person who has done more to advance the cause of private antitrust enforcement and collective redress than you. You were among the first to urge the EU to see that private enforcement was a necessary complement to public enforcement in both the 2014 EU Directive on Private Damages and the evolving body of case law in the EU and UK courts, generally recognizing notions of private redress are a testament to your vision and your tenacity. You've also made meaningful and lasting contributions to the ABA and a trust section. The fact that there is now a section committee on global private litigation was the result of your efforts, as was the creation of the section's highly successful biannual workshop on private global redress, which has been attracting record numbers of attendees since its inception. I could say a lot about your commitment to social justice and your career as a human rights lawyer as well, but this is an occasion to celebrate your career as an antitrust lawyer and what an illustrious and impactful career it has been. I would also add that you've been a great friend, teacher, and role model to many, myself included, and I'm delighted that your peers in the antitrust community have chosen to honor you with this Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations again, Michael. Michael, congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award. You are one of the few lawyers that I know that gets inspired, not defeated by uncertainty. You love a puzzle. You are motivated by a gray area in the law. And you are not phased in the slightest by the phrase, but that's never been done before. 
In fact, little do they know, there are defense lawyers in this bar that are directly responsible for new areas of the law that you created or developed simply because they had the audacity to say to you, Michael, you cannot do that. On behalf of plaintiffs everywhere, I hereby thank those naysaying lawyers for their inspiration to you. In addition to blazing trails, I have seen you demonstrate time and time again how to hang on and dig in to a case that others think is on life support. You run towards the hard cases, not away from them. You think about what can be done, not just what has been done. You have demonstrated to me and others at our firm time and time again that if a case is worth doing, it is worth all your chips. You do not ever leave the table. You do not fold. Thank you so much for your relentless energy and inspiration and making coming to work so much fun. I first began working with Michael in the summer of 2000. I was a summer associate at his previous law firm, Cohen, Milstein, Hausfeld, and Toll, and I've worked with him and for him since that time. I started as an associate at the firm in 2001. Though I hadn't really gotten to know him much, I sort of viewed him as this mythical figure who walked the halls of the firm. Um, one day, I got an email from my law school because they had promised us emails for life and we would be able to communicate with our classmates this way. But the email from the law school said, we're taking this benefit away from you. You're no longer gonna have these emails, uh, sorry. And I, as a young plaintiff's class action attorney, immediately fired off an angry email that said, how dare you, this is a breach of contract. This is a breach of our benefit of the bargain. Threw in some other contract terms that I probably didn't quite understand and said, I work for Michael Hausfeld. We're a class action firm. We're gonna sue you if you don't change this policy. Didn't hear anything back. The next day, walking through the firm and I see Michael, he says, James, could you come by my office? I would like to talk to you. And I said, oh, sure, you know, my opportunity to sit down and pick the brain of Michael Hausfeld. So I go into his office and he says, so last night, the dean of the law school was at my house for dinner and said that one of my associates had threatened to sue the law school in a class action. And I, of course, was mortified. And he said, James, next time, maybe you come by and talk to me before you send off a letter like that. And we can talk through the ins and outs of whether or not that makes sense. He was very patient with me that day and he taught me many lessons. Uh, number one is maybe don't fire off angry emails right away. Take some time to think about it. Um, but the most important one is maybe find out who Michael's friends are before you threaten to sue them. Um, but obviously Michael has mentored me throughout my career, has taught me many things. Uh, he's an incredible lawyer an incredible person and uh, an incredible friend. And I can't think of anyone more deserving of this honor. Congratulations, Michael. Michael, uh, it's been a pleasure to work with you over the years, uh, both when being cross-examined cross uh, as in the NCAA case or working with you as an expert in the Alabama case and other cases. Uh, I. I'm totally impressed by your honesty, by your dedication, your reliability, and I am proud to be considered a friend. <clears throat> Thank you very much for having the opportunity to to work with you, Michael. It's been a real pleasure. I was really happy to be invited to leave you this video message and to congratulate you for this honor that you're receiving from the ABA. It will look great on your already very crowded trophy case, and it is well deserved. You've had a fantastic career. You have many more years to come. I have always looked up to you and considered you both a formidable adversary and a real gentleman and somebody in the, in the great tradition 
of the law who I could work with and be civilized with and uh, work hard on behalf of our respective clients, but never take it personally. Uh, really has been a pleasure and an honor to work with you over the years, and I, I look forward to many more opportunities to come. Congratulations again. Congratulations for what has been a tremendous career. Um, you've mattered in the legal community. You've mattered in the academic community. Uh, thank you so much. Hi, Michael. Congratulations on the award. It is so well-deserved. You have had an absolutely legendary career in cartel, private cartel litigation. One of my favorite memories is uh, a planning meeting that you and I had on the sidelines of an ABA spring meeting when you had the excellent idea to create the first ABA antitrust section workshop on private civil litigation to be a counterpart to the international cartel workshop that had been so successful for so many years. Well, that meeting and that lunch that you and I had turned into, in the not very distant future, the first private civil litigation conference that we held in Amsterdam. And it was a huge success, really well attended in Europe. You have always been an innovator, a leader, and I'm lucky to count you as a friend. Congratulations. Enjoy your celebration. Michael, congratulations on this very well-deserved award. It's been a pleasure working with you and learning from you for the past 20 years. I'm very proud to call you a mentor and a friend. Mike, I join in congratulating you on this very great and very well-deserved honor. We've been friends and colleagues for more than 40 years, working as co-counsel on a great array of antitrust cases. And through it all, you have demonstrated enormous skill, creativity, tenacity, initiative, and above all, dedication to our clients. Uh, it has also been um, my privilege to work with you on totally different kinds of cases, including those involving human rights. Uh, I'll never forget one case that we worked on together brought against a, a war criminal who was responsible for the deaths of untold numbers of men, women, and children in the Holocaust. That case, among others, demonstrated that you understood and are a great follower of the admonition that justice, justice shall you pursue. Uh, again, Mike, I wish you the very best and congratulate you on this very great honor. Hi, Michael. Of course, I congratulate you on receiving this well-deserved Lifetime Achievement Award for your visionary and imaginative efforts in seeking and achieving fair and more effective antitrust enforcement over the years. Your distinguished career has included some of the largest and most successful class actions, not only in antitrust, but also in human rights and discrimination. I've known you for over 30 years, the first 25 as an opponent in four major and lengthy antitrust class actions in different courts involving four different industries. Indeed, your tenacious advocacy probably paid for my daughter's college tuition. Seriously, during that time, I found you to be a dedicated, aggressive, effective, and honest adversary. In addition, I learned for the first time then that you're always cool, calm, and collected. In fact, I don't remember ever hearing you raise your voice. Perhaps it's the bow tie effect. Then, seven years ago, as I was seriously considering retirement, you asked me to change my side of the litigation V and join Scott Martin in opening your firm's New York office. I jumped at this exciting opportunity, which has recharged my career by allowing me to work with the outstanding international team you originally envisioned and have in fact successfully assembled. I greatly admire how you function in the firm as a role model for the younger attorneys. Actually, I'm probably the only one who doesn't see you as a senior statesman, young man. I've also been honored to collaborate with you in writing several articles since I joined the firm, during which time I personally benefited greatly from your legal creativity. And I had the pleasure of seeing you perform as an effective teacher 
when you invited me to join you for one of your classes at George Mason Law School. I treasure our close relationship with the deepest affection and wish you many more years of continued great success. What do I admire most about Michael Hausfeld? Michael has been a friend, a mentor, a boss, a partner to me. And two things in particular come to mind among the many virtues, things that I really appreciate about Michael. The first is his visionary aspect, right? His ability to see where the law may transform, how we can use these legal toolkits to make the world, frankly, a better place, a place for economic and social justice, environmental justice. He really brings this level of optimism and possibility and ferociousness to the work that he's done on behalf of his clients, our firm's clients. And it's remarkable to see him refuse to give up even 5, 10, 15 years into some of these cases. And the second item is really just his compassion and humanity. And I think that's evident in the causes, cases, and clients that he takes on, and also his way of being with adversaries, friends, co-counsel, judges. He is gracious, he is human, and he's quick to convey to the rest of us that um, even in the quiet, private moments, there's room in this practice to be compassionate, to be empathetic, to identify with even your adversaries, and to find common ground. And it's for these reasons and many more that I so cherish Michael's guidance, his, his friendship, um, and I look forward to seeing what comes next for him. Michael, when I came to work with you back in 2003, I knew of your reputation as the best of the best, an amazing litigator, fierce negotiator, a champion of economic and social justice, and having a global vision determined to ensure that there was civil redress around the globe. But what I didn't know then that I immediately learned as I walked in through the doors was what an amazing teacher and mentor you are. Michael, your mentorship style is so natural. Whether it be including the youngest and the newest of lawyers in everything, settlement discussions, hearing, client meetings, like you did with me when I joined the firm, but it is also so incredibly intentional. You will never miss an opportunity to take the time to discuss, to strategize, to collaborate on the toughest of challenges, but determined always to find a path forward. I am so grateful to have worked with you throughout my career. I'm so grateful for all the cases that we've worked on and for all the coffees and train rides and walks where you have always been just the most incredible mentor. And I look forward to all the years to come. Congratulations on this very well-deserved award.